In this video, I would like to demo the new application Digital Solder Mask for Allego and Orchard PCB Editor. Let's take a look at the cross section first. Setup cross section. There are multiple layers, multiple mask layers defined above top and below the bottom layer on which we would like to generate data. Let's launch the application Flowware Edit Digital Solder Mask. Let's start with a pad box mode first. We process only layer. One, the top layer, and we generate the output on digital solder one. Press generate. As you can see here, around each pad, a solder mask item will be generated. We can specify or change the gap to be modified, for example, as a bridge width. Let's regenerate data. Each pad will be processed separately. If necessary, data will be merged. Let's clear data. Let's choose the component boundary. The component boundary we use the place bound top shape as a reference. That means we generate a solder mask shape for each component individually. Again, we generate data on digital solder one, press generate. We may specify, we may change the pin mask gap again back, for example, to 50 microns generate. The voiding for VS can be specified using via mask gap. By enabling use via hole, only the drill hole will be processed. By default, via hole is enabled. Let's clear data. Let's choose another mode. The traces mode. In the traces mode, only a short segment for traces entering the pad will be generated. Length offset can be specified. Pin mask gap, if necessary, press generate. Let's clear the data and now let's define data region wise. We create a new region, we give it a name, say region one, and now we, we drag a region. For this region, we would like to generate a region shape first, a region solder mask shape on layer digital solder one. You can do so by selecting the mode region boundary. We select the region accordingly, region one, press generate. Now data will be generated. Now on top of, it, of this solder mask here, we would like to generate a pad box mode. So we change the mode to be used as pad box. Now we give specify another layer, a second layer from our cross section, digital solder two. So we run with a bridge width of 0.4 millimeter, for example, and a pin mask gap of 0.1 millimeter. Press generate. And on top of digital solder two, that means on layer digital solder three, we would like to generate another pad box. As an example, we could also use a traces mode if necessary. But we, in this case here, we select the pad box mode again with slightly smaller parameters, 0.2 millimeters, press generate. So now we have a so-called stacked additive solder mask. Now let's take a look in 3D viewer. Let's turn symbol off. And here you can see now the additive solder mask layers in the 3D context.